Today we take a look at the Ornamag Gate Latch from Nationwide Industries. Hey everyone, Jason from Iron Fence Shop. Today I wanted to take a closer look at assembling and installing the Ornamag Latch by Nationwide Industries. We can supply this gate latch for use with your Stronghold Iron or Infinity Aluminum gates. A quick note on the gate latch, we only sell them with our gates. We do not sell them individually because we can't guarantee they'll fit or work properly with other gates. Now let's take a closer look at the latch parts and assembling the unit. The Ornamag latch has a steel body with aluminum lever handles and is key lockable on one side. It is held shut in the closed position by a powerful magnet. The name is essentially an abbreviation of Ornamental Magnetic Latch. The latch kit itself is fairly straightforward. You have the main latch body, the handles, the handle mounting spindle, the handle collar, an Allen key, some self-tapping screws based on it being an aluminum or a steel slash iron gate, your keeper, keeper backing plates, and a set of keys. Assembling the latch is pretty straightforward. First, we're gonna take your latch body, take your handle spindle, and put it through as such. Push it through so you've got about the same amount sticking out on each side. Now we're gonna take your front handle and orient it like this so it's facing away from the gate lock. You'll then take your little Allen key here and there's a small set screw that you'll tighten down. Now we're gonna do the same on our back handle. If we spin the unit around here, we're gonna take our little collar, fit this over so it goes inside, and again, mount your back handle so it's facing outward, and tighten it down with a supplied Allen key. Now your latch body is ready to go. The last piece is your keeper. This is the part that mounts on your post and holds the gate shut. This is your main keeper piece here with the metal rod in it. You then have two backing plates that the keeper slides onto for mounting to your post. You have the standard backing plate, which is the smaller of the two. We do not recommend using this backing plate as it makes for a very tight fit with limited adjustability. On some setups with a tight tolerance, the standard backing plate may allow the gate frame cap and the post cap to come in contact with each other when opening or closing the gate. We recommend using the offset backing plate, which is the larger of the two. To attach the keeper to the backing plate, line up these grooves here with these grooves here. It will be a bit of a tight fit. Put them on, squeeze, and slide your two pieces together as such. Which end you slide the keeper on depends if you're using the latch on the right or left of the gate. When the keeper is installed on the gate, it should be in the upright position with the larger part on top like this. Now that we've got our latch body and our keeper assembled, we need to figure out which bag of screws we're gonna utilize. Now since we're installing this on an iron gate, I've selected these steel screws for steel gate bag here and opened them up. You'll have two of these longer screws, six of these medium screws, and one of these little set screws here. Now all of the screws are gonna have this self-tapping head on them basically, it's like a little drill bit on the end of it. However, I recommend using a drill bit and making pilot holes, that way you're not burning out the head, especially when you're using it on one of our steel and iron gates. Now these longer bolts are gonna feed through the body of the latch as such here. You're gonna have two medium ones that go here and here on the latch body. And your remaining four are gonna go around your keeper on this end here. This little set screw guy is gonna go down inside these holes here. This essentially gives you your height adjustment to make sure your latch lines up. Once you've found that, there'll be one hole that lines up. Take your set screw, screw it in there, and that'll make sure your hardware never moves on you. Let's take a look at an installed example to see how it looks and functions. Here I have one of our Stronghold Iron 4x4 traditional grade walk gates in our hoop and picket style with the Ornamag latch attached. This gate has a 1.5 inch gate frame, but the Ornamag will fit the 2 inch gate frames on our signature grade iron and aluminum gates as well. The height you mount the latch on the gate is less right or wrong and more about personal preference. Most gate latches on doors around your house will be mounted so that the handle or knob is about 40 to 42 inches up from the ground. Note that is from the ground and not the bottom of the gate. Now on some of our shorter fences, like our three foot tall ones, obviously it'll be below that 40 to 42 inch mark. On some of our taller six foot fences, you may want it up a little higher. If you're trying to meet pool code, it typically needs to be about 54 inches up from the ground. Now if you look here on our one and a half inch traditional grade iron gate frame, you'll see it has this gap here. The two inch frame on the signature grade and all aluminum gates will be a more snug fit with no gap. Now that gap doesn't remove any mounting points or affect any mounting rigidity. In regards to the spacing needed for the gap here between the gate frame and the post, the offset backing plate we recommend using should give you between 13 16 and 1 and 7 16 of an inch. So you have some adjustability there. I would recommend aiming for something between those two numbers so you leave yourself some adjustability in both directions. As for which side of the gate you want the latch on, it can be turned around to be mounted on the right side of the gate or the left side of the gate. 
the face of the gate you mount the latch on will be the direction it opens. So the side where the key lock is indicates its swing. In this case, with the latch lock facing you watching this, the gate would open towards you as such. And the latch will also prevent the gate from swinging in both directions. For security, you can lock the gate with a key. When keyed in the lock position, as such, the gate handle will move down, but it won't allow it to disengage the keeper. With the key in the open position, you can release the keeper and it allows the gate to be opened. Another security item is how the latch has the mounting screws on the inside and outside of the face of the latch. Even if someone backed out the screws on the face of the backing plate and the latch here, the screws on the inside of the gate frame and post here would keep the latch mounted and unable to be removed. I hope this video has helped provide a good overview of the Ornamag latch by Nationwide Industries. Be sure to check us out here at ironfenceshop.com. Want to see more videos on gate hardware? Check out this video we did on our J-Bolt gate hinges. Now, if you have any further questions, feel free to shoot us an email at sales at ironfenceshop.com or give us a call at 800-261-2729. We look forward to hearing from you.